know we're getting really close to the game. What are your last-minute thoughts about the Vikings? <laughs> last minute? I think they're a little better than I originally thought. The more I watch them, the better they are, the more consistent they are. I think uh, God, I, I really hardly ever see them make a mistake, and that's it. And they just let the other teams beat themselves, it seems. They play like sometimes they'll play a sloppy ball game, they'll come out winning by three touchdowns. It's unbelievable how, how, they, how consistent they are. How about Tarkenton, impressions of him? Well, Fran is just, he's the man. Without him, I don't think they're going very far. He, he makes it happen. He, he keeps drives alive. He, he consistently hits them third down plays. And I, I tell you, without him, they're in trouble. He's, he's just a super quarterback. <laughs> An approach and imperative is to win this thing after being here twice before. The fact that 36, none of us get younger. How, how does it differ this time as compared to the others? It doesn't. Uh, when I was here the other times, they said, well, this is, you know, this is going to be your only and last shot. Uh, this is now or never, and I heard that the other day, too. Uh, it's today. You know, uh, the odds of, of you got one in 28 odds of getting to the Super Bowl any year. Hi, Jesse. Uh, so that's that's difficult to get get here. I don't know how different you can approach it. I'm sure everybody that ever gets to this game does everything they know how to to, to prepare themselves the best way they can to win the football game. Obviously, there are going to be 86 awfully fine football players, the best football players in the world, right? Somebody's going to walk up and feel a winner, somebody's a loser, you know, that particular day, because that's where the stakes are. And, uh, man, that's what you play for. That's the fun of it. It's the challenge of it. And uh, there are no guarantees. And I don't, uh, 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 you know, uh, prepare any differently. I, I, the other other two I've been in, I've done everything I knew how to do to help my team win, and we didn't, because we were beaten by the champions of the world. You make them sound so good, does that mean you just don't have a chance against them? <laughs> the Raiders didn't have a chance last week against Pittsburgh either. Uh, we're, we're to, we, you know, we like to think the teams we're playing are really good, you know, really the, the top. We, we like to go after the top ones, and you'll, you'll hear most of the guys building them up, not even looking for anything wrong with them. And then we just go out there and uh, we play our style of football and things work out. I mean, down to if you really think they're terrible. Oh, no, I wouldn't say that. No, they wouldn't be where they are if they were terrible. I'll tell you that. They're, they're an excellent club, and I think this may be one of the best Super Bowl games ever played. I mean, the clubs are evenly matched. They're both high-scoring clubs. They're both good on defense. It could be just an excellent game. But I believe that we're going to win. I'm sure if you go across over to Oakland a little bit later and ask Kenny Stabler, and if he says, oh, I think we're going to lose, you know, I, you know when the athlete said, I think we're going to win, or we are going to win, everybody says, come on, leave, 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 we're going to win. Because you're so listen, used to hearing the bullshit about, well, they're a fine team and uh, we're going to do our best, but we don't know. We think we're going to win. I believe it. They'd be fired with my soul. If you didn't have any chance this time, though, of winning than the other two times, is this the Yeah, because team? we lost the other two times. <laughs> <laughs> if you didn't think you were going to win, would you tell us? <laughs> I never thought I wasn't going to win anything. I thought I was going to win everything I've ever been in. How badly do you want this game? Oh, I think you want every uh, every game, and the Super Bowl is uh, certainly different, and it's bigger and everything, but, you know, you play 22 games in a year, and they're all big in terms of coaches because you know yourself that you lose three games, you're out of a job in this business, and uh, so every game is big. Uh, Super Bowl is certainly the biggest, but I think our preparation in the business, our coaching staff is all very veteran, uh, a veteran team, and uh, I think it's a selling job more than anything else uh, that we have to do. If you could ask John Madden three questions the night before the game and he had to answer them truthfully, what would you ask him? I think we got all the answers. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's, that's, you know, the what about Dallas? Did you have Dallas players that year when they won? No. See, I was coach the AFC. All right. No, I meant, I meant, I meant in terms of you know, you know how people mill around before an all-star game. No, and, yeah, but we never did like, that much. I mean, no. we were, you know, always separated, kind of like this. Does, uh, does Al take care of most of the details, the kind of things you're talking about? I mean, that you don't have to worry about them. Well, I was involved in them. Uh, I don't know. I mean, we kind of did it together. You seem to have a unique relationship. Yeah, we do. Get it's along. very <laughs> unlike the, the uh, people write about. Uh, what is it really like? Well, 
that, you know, to run a, a football organization uh, successfully, it takes more than, than one person because there are so many facets of it today. And uh, we can both do our jobs without crossing, and we can do them together. The fact of the matter is, when this game is over, the team that wins will be remembered. The team that loses really won't be remembered too much. Nobody will talk much about them anymore until they come back uh, in. Until they come back in, and then they talk about them more. And I don't know, but it, that's just the nature of, the, of, of what it is. Not really. I mean, if a, if, a, if a receiver has a pattern to run, he has to run it. How things been called a long time, long time. He doesn't look like a classic quarterback, but uh, but he's a great quarterback. One of the greatest quarterbacks that ever played, and uh, nobody passes. He's one of the best pure passers that that I've ever seen. And uh, obviously, he's a great leader and uh, he's got a very good uh, football mind. What have your impressions been of the week so far? Has this been kind of fun or, or just harassment? No, I think it's been a good time. I, I I've been looking forward to something like this for years. Every time we get to a championship game and I think we're going to win it, I, I kind of look look at, you know, want to get into this. And I think it's been a heck of a good time meeting people from all over the country and talking to them and getting their ideas and hearing what they say about us. It's been a good time. And, and when they say it's Super Bowl, they're right. This is just a super big, super big thing. You just can't imagine it until you're here.